Hello and welcome back to the ministry. This is a quick word. Um, I was sitting here and I was doing, uh, listening to one of the people that I was listening to and I was, I was researching something that they said. They were talking about the word conform and the definition of the word conform is to comply with rules or standard law of of a person behaving according to societal acceptability and convention or standard. The Greek definition pretty much states that you are in alignment with this, that you are pretty much bowing to somebody else's thoughts will, emotions, so on and so forth, and also can come up under the scripture of double-mindedness, where you have two frames of thought, your thought and the thought of somebody else's, and which thought are you holding up above yourself? A lot of us operate in this, especially those that like to conform to others' beliefs and belief systems, and When you break that, when you break double-mindedness, when you break that, the scripture talks about be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Don't be conformed, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Because God gives you what? Power, love, and a sound mind. One of the curses that is listed in Deuteronomy talks about the fact that um, God will bestow senile, meaning a person will lose their mind, go senile, and hold on, let me see if I can find the exact scripture. In this version of Deuteronomy 28, is Scripture 28 in in um, Deuteronomy 28 that states, The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of the heart. Um, let's see. There are multiple other ways that is said, but the madness is the thing that you need to pay attention to. In the message version, I believe, let me see if I can find the message version right quick. This is the version that I was looking for. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 says, 28 and 28 says, he'll make you go crazy, blind, and senile. Now, why would I do that? Because this is the definition of what schizophrenia is. Mm -hmm. And that is actually a curse. Why am I saying this? I'm about to give you a series of videos that's going to explain why I just said this. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.